Hello, Veronica Spriggs here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use scripts in Photoshop. Scripts are very much like actions in that they help to automate tasks that can be very menial and time consuming in Photoshop. So they're really going to help to speed up some of the processes that we use on a daily basis when creating in Photoshop. Today we're using Title Builder by Anna Forrest Designs and I'm going to show you how that works. I'm also going to show you how to install it or run it from the folder itself. So to get started, I'm going to show you what's inside. Okay, inside you'll find the scripts only folder and that's very important because it works with the scripts. So you'll need to keep these two files together before you can use them. And here is the TOU and the user's manual, which includes all the instructions that you'll need to use the um, script. If you are using scripts, I really do recommend that before you use it, you read the designer's um, instructions because they will be very helpful to you, believe me. It can be kind of confusing getting started using scripts, but once you know what you're doing, it's really simple and you'll wonder how on earth did you ever get along without them. So here's the JSX file, which is the actual script itself. And when you're navigating to the folder, this is the file that you're going to be looking for. Okay, first we're going to install the script to Photoshop. In order to install the file, you want to make sure that you don't have Photoshop turned on. So if you have that open, go ahead and close it out now. And then you're going to copy these files to your Photoshop folder. And to do that, you want to make sure you highlight both files, the folder and the JSX file. And then we're going to go to Edit copy to folder and be sure that you're using copy to instead of move to because you want to make sure that you retain the original file in a folder where you can access it again if you ever need to reinstall it or if you just want to run it directly from the folder okay so by choosing copy to you'll have a duplicate version in your Photoshop folder instead of the original folder so we're going to go to copy to and you want to navigate to your main drive, which is probably C drive. And then you want to go to your program files and Adobe and install this to your version of Photoshop. In my case, I'm going to be using CS4. Then you want to go to presets and finally scripts and then just choose copy. And I already have it here, so it's asking me do I want to copy it. In this case, I'm just going to skip it because I've already done that. If you're using Windows 7 or CS4 and you find that didn't work for you, you want to save these to the roaming folder, which is the default folder for CS4. And to do that, you want to Go to Edit, Copy to Folder, and here you're going to look right up underneath Desktop and you'll find your computer's main username, whatever that may happen to be, and that's what you're going to click on. And then you're going to go to App Data, Roaming, and then Adobe. And from there, you want to click on your version of Adobe. And again, it's CS4. You want to go down to Presets and Scripts. And then copy that there. Okay. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and turn on your Adobe Photoshop. Once your Photoshop has loaded, you'll go to File, Scripts, and then you'll see in your Scripts window the title of your script that you just loaded. And in this case, it's 
AFD, Anna Forest Designs Title Builder. So now we know that the script has been installed properly. Now, as I told you, if you don't want to install the script, you can also run it directly from the folder. The advantage is if you install it, you won't have to navigate to the folder each time you want to use it. So if it's a script that you're using a lot, you may want to go ahead and install it. But if, so, if it's something that you'll use just, you know, rarely, you can go ahead and just um, run the script directly from the folder itself. So to run it from the folder, you would go once again to File. You click on Scripts. And then you want to go down to Browse. And then you would navigate to the folder where you have your script installed. In this case, I've already navigated to the folder that I want to use. So I'm just going to click on the folder. And inside, you'll see the JSX file that I told you about. And that's the file that we're looking for. So you just want to go ahead and click on that. You can see that it's ready down here. And then you click Load. And by doing that, it's automatically going to turn on the Title Builder script for you and you're ready to go. So you would just plug in your information as it's prompting you to do and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and run the script from the installed file. Before I do that, I'm going to open up a layout that I'd like to work on. Now in order to run this script, you don't have to have your um, layout already open because it's going to create its own file, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just so that I have it ready. Now I'm going to go down once again to File, Scripts, AFD Title Builder. It's already got the information filled in from the last time that I ran the script but I'm going to show you what you would need to do. Here it's asking you to fill in your title and you would just use your keyboard to do that. Here it's asking you for the letter spacing in pixels. It's by default set to 20. If you want the letters spaced further apart than that, then you would raise this number. If you want it lower than that, then or tighter together, then you would um, lower the number. You can also have the numbers overlapping by setting this number to a negative value. The next thing that it's asking you to do is select the folder that your alpha is in. So you want to navigate to your folder. Okay, once you find the folder where your alphabet is, you just simply click on it and then check OK. And the next part, this portion is very important because this is how the script is going to find your alphabets. It's asking you for the prefix of the lowercase letters as well as the uppercase letters and then numeric prefixes. In this case, it's grayed out because I don't have any numbers in my title. So it's asking the prefix of the lowercase letters and then the uppercase letters. And to find that, you would go to your folder where you have your alphabet stored and then you'll see how the designer has the alphabet titled and everything before the actual letter is what you want to copy here so you can see in my uppercase alphas I have VJS earth and sky and then zero zero and then a dash and then the capital A so I want to cap I want to copy everything before the A and then I'm going to paste that in uppercase letters. Then you want to go ahead and do the same thing with the lowercase letters.
and then choose OK. Now it's going to start running the script. And you can see this is so much faster and so much easier than copy and pasting all of those letters onto your layout one at a time and then lining them up. It's all automated for you and it does it in a matter of seconds. Okay, there's the title. And once you're done, what it does is it creates each word into its own separate group. So to get that group over onto your layout, you just click here on the original group and you can see, I can turn that off and on and you'll see that the title there disappears. So I'm gonna drag that here onto my layout. Then I'm going to go to the next one And then finally, the last group. And then I can just go ahead and move those around wherever I'd like to place them. And there you have it. That's how simple it is. You can merge these and then add drop shadows or anything you'd like to do after that. But that is just how quick and easy it is to work with scripts. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'll check out some more great scripts by Anna Forrest. I'll leave all the info for you in the details and um, we'll see you again for the next one.